Hello, I'm Mr. Robert, and this is an introduction to Harmonize 7 scales, what they are, how they're built, and the chords they produce. If you're familiar with the concept of scales, chords, and intervals, and the basics of music notation, this video should make sense to you. If not, you might want to review before you watch it. For the purposes of this video, we'll be defining a harmonized scale as any diatonic scale with diatonic chords built upon each of its degrees. These are the C major, A natural minor, and A harmonic minor scales. Based on the sixth degree of the C major, A natural is the relative minor of C, and A harmonic minor is created by raising the seventh degree of A natural minor so it has one sharp, the G. Here's what they sound like. To harmonize these scales, we first build basic triads by adding intervals of a third and a fifth above each degree. Then we replace the Arabic scale degrees with Roman numerals to indicate the qualities of the chords we've created. The uppercase numerals are major chords, the lowercase are minor, and the lowercase with the little circle next to it is diminished. The order of major, minor, and diminished chords is the same for every major scale. It's also the same for the natural minor scale, except that it starts on the minor 6 chord of the relative major. And the harmonic minor is the same as the natural minor, except that the raised 7th degree changes the 5 chord from minor to major, and the 7 chord from major to diminished. Here's how they sound. To harmonize these scales to the 7th degree, we simply add one more interval, a 7th. But this adds a second quality to every chord, so that we must now describe them by both the quality of the original triad and the quality of the 7th degree, giving us five new chord types. The major major 7 chord consists of a major triad with a major 7th and is generally just called a major 7th chord. Though you won't normally see it used with Roman numerals, in lead sheet notation, they're often designated by a triangle and a 7. The minor minor 7 chord consists of a minor triad with a minor 7th and is usually simply called a minor 7th chord. The minor 7th degree is designated by the 7 alone. The major minor 7 chord consists of a major triad with a minor 7th and is usually called a dominant chord because it only occurs naturally on the 5th degree of the major scale. It's designated by the uppercase numeral with the minor 7. Finally, the diminished minor 7 chord consists of a diminished triad with a minor 7th. It's often identified by a slashed circle and called a half diminished chord because the triad is diminished but the 7th is not. In the harmonic minor scale, the raised 7th degree changes the 5 chord from a minor minor 7th to a major minor 7th, and the 7 chord from a major minor 7th to a diminished diminished 7th or fully diminished 7th chord. Like the diminished triad, it's identified by the circle symbol, no slash. Those are all the chords created by these scales, and this is how they sound.
And there you have it, all you ever wanted to know about harmonized seven scales. What they are, how they're built, the chords they produce, and most importantly, what they sound like. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and maybe even learned a thing or two. I'm Mr. Robert, and I'll see you next time.